Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome back to Oster, where it's very cold outside. Um, we still have a few things in the fields over here. We're in the middle of January. Cathra wrote in to let me know that the grayed out ones are that way because there's still objects in the in the field. So I was thinking the harvest was done. Let's start uh, switching this out. But, well, that switched on me this time. One, two, three, four, four's here, right? Um, okay, this one I cannot get rid of. So, that's hemp. Well, anyway. Objects in the field had something to do with why I was, I was getting confused over here last time. Anyway, between Cathra and Alia and Ebba and Peggy and Murphy, uh, last episode gave me lots of ideas to work with with this episode. One of them was a rotation pattern for here. And I wasn't sure how that worked because I hadn't gotten to that point yet in the game. Because last map we ended right about the time of getting the farm going. And we're just getting here now. But apparently a fallow field will regenerate 100% of all of the nutrients. I didn't know that. Um, I haven't seen it actually, so I'm, I'm going by what I was what I was told. But I would have thought that you leave a field fallow for for a season and it's going to regenerate some. I wouldn't have I would not, not have expected all. So I was hesitant to just say you know if we went through and and added all these up we could we could start with oh let's see here if we started with wheat we use up that much and then we went to potato and use a little more of the of the red and the green and then finished it off with hemp which is all the blue and then went to fallow and we can create a pattern that would work there but i just assumed that fallow just brought back maybe 20 25 percent and or if you had cattle in there then maybe it would bring it back even more but i wasn't expecting a hundred percent restart each time so if that's the case then yeah we can we can preset these guys to be uh, whatever we want so let's Let's just set a pattern over here since all of these are 100% right now. They're all brand new. Let's set a pattern in here and just see if this works. We'll kind of follow this farm through the uh, through the seasons. So if we would go wheat, potato, hemp, fallow. That's the general pattern. Wheat. Oops, I got rid of one. Potato, hemp, fallow. And then over here if we staggered that. So let's set up four in all of these. All right, so if we went, what was it? Then potato, hemp, fallow, and wheat. And then let's go with uh, hemp, and then fallow, and then wheat potato. Then all three of these year, all four of these years, we've got a different crop growing in each one at, at any one time. Now, sunflower is different because sunflower requires all 100 percent so you could then go to something that would only take green and blue but there isn't anything everything requires a little bit of red nitrogen or whatever that turns out to be so in that case you would sunflower and then fallow and then sunflower then fallow so we could do a second one right over here that is the opposite of that so fallow sunflower So that's the pattern that uh, was suggested to me. And we'll follow this one out, number six, just because that was a, that was a spare. I wasn't sure what to do with that. This is a pattern, apparently, that would, that would work year after year. And especially when you introduce the plow to this thing. We haven't got the oxen yet to put a plow on this one. Can I transfer a plow over? I had not tried that. You can do almost anything else. Um, it doesn't give an indication that I can uh, click over here now. Now, unlike a cart. Well, I've clicked on the cart itself. If I were to click on hmm, order a plow, plow available, doesn't indicate there's a plow in this farm. Okay. So apparently the plow isn't something I can manipulate like I can a cow. Uh, you can take the, the cows and drag and drop on other cow shed to relocate. So we can drop off on another one over there so you can do that with the cattle you of course can do that with the carts too we can grab a cart out of here drag and drop it and put it into another one 
So that's a doable thing, but I don't see any way to do that with the plow at this point. Okay, so this then is finally officially set for spring, right? I don't think I've missed anything. I'm going to set it to the most laborers on this one. This is the one that's going to be the, uh, you know, the, the money crops over there. This one really kind of needs to fallow out for a while. In fact, I wonder if we shouldn't just fallow this thing out and let all the labor do this one. We could do that. We're going to get over here, still this one? Yeah. So we're going to get a wheat potato, a hemp, a sunflower, and a couple of fowls. So we've got something of everything. They're going to be at their peak you know, nutrient level. They're just not going to get the plow, but they don't really need it this time because, you know, we're, we're uh, uh, well, actually, it was mentioned in the comments that the plow instead finishes off that growth bar that we've always seen only ends at half to five eighths. So the plow, I was, you know, curious about that if it would extend the growth. If, if finishing the growth, the plow was the missing ingredient. So that may be the case for there. But if we did fallow all this out, and to what extent can I actually do that? I guess I can do it this way. So fallow in this sense right here and kill off all of the second ones. Uh, wouldn't let me do that. Fallow, so I can, I, there we go, do that. So we can fallow all of this out. Uh, prioritize gathering. So I think it was Peggy that was curious if we hit that one during the winter time would we get more laborers in what would it prioritize it for you know a priority for the town to get out here and do it or would it just be prioritizing these workers which well that's what they're doing anyway so it wouldn't make a difference so does this add a little more weight toward getting more people in here to do this if we kick it up for just a little while do we see this suddenly fill i don't get the sense it does so my impression is that it forces the laborers <clears throat> to prioritize gathering while they are harvesting. So harvest and then bring it in, harvest and bring it in. I don't know what it'll do once the snow hits and we've, you know, all the, the growth has died off and we only have hauling it in left. I'm not seeing a third person jumping in or a fourth. Don't know that we have a third or fourth though, so there's always that to think about. Uh, open vacancies three for women. There's two, and well, there's five more there, so I don't know what the three means. Yeah, I really don't know. What else could that be? Um, we're blocked right there. Uh, this is men only. All of these are set to just one. Men, men, all these are men. I don't know what the three would mean, so I would love to have more explanation. wish I could drop down into this box and click on that two and have it take me to them but anyway now it says two and there's two here maybe that's it i don't know so let's follow all this out not spread the labor out thin to where everything fails and just let this one run in fact for that matter we can just max it out and, and uh get it done all right, what else was brought up? The, I had asked for suggestions on where to put buildings, and in general, the idea is that to get the, uh, the buildings that use the supplies, like the weaver uses the hemp, as close to where the hemp is stored as possible. Now, will this guy store hemp? I don't remember when I had that up and running before, if hemp was a choice or if cloth. A weaver makes, is it called cloth or fabric? What do you, what do you call it in this game? Uh, makes produces clothes oh okay so we don't go to okay so textile and then clothes so does it store hemp or does it store textile or does it store clothes or does it store all three does the hemp stay stuck at the farm is guess what i'm trying to, to get to but basically to have the buildings that use these products directly you know cattle hides all kind of in the area of its source of course we're spreading the sources out now but the suggestion was brought up to get the oil over in here, the oil workshop for the sunflower oil. And I was kind of thinking of that too. You know, if what big square boxy things could go in here to give me the sense of a, of a straight road through here to make the turn. And let's, let's play with that idea. And I notice I don't have any sound again. 
nothing. So, I wonder if the sounds turn off in the winter. We'll check in spring to see if that comes back. I'm running slow right now. I'm kind of on purpose, but I guess I can kick it up to two. Um, any changes over here? Well, we got all of them now. Okay, and if I turned that off, would we... Problem is, it's so random. They come and go to all the jobs all the time. So I never really know what to trust. It takes them a, a couple of weeks, it feels like, or at least one week before everything starts to move. Do we have... We still have nobody in the thatch. I see we're stalled. Why are we stalled? Can't find thatch anywhere. Hmm. Because everybody wants to build. That's probably it. All the job sites have got people on them, but the, the buildings themselves, I can't get anybody to work. Interesting. They all want to build. They don't want to pull frozen reeds out of the soil, out of the shore. <laughs> um, that's going to hurt. There's another one stalled. Thatch. Yeah. Well, we'll get this project completed. There's no thatch in this one. And in fact, they're almost done now. Right there. Now, once that's done, are you guys going to go to work? No? Yes? Now, yeah, someone may jump into that one. Ah, got that one going. Got two in there. Um, that's right, I turned this guy off. In order to get the harvest in. I just remembered I didn't reset it. That well's being used. Good. How are the cows doing? We'll get back to that, that oil workshop here in a little bit. We still have almost two of each. So two is plenty to handle this number of cows. Okay. Okay, so we're at the beginning of February. And, yeah, it's a shame that the... Uh, Hmm. That the one plow we've got is over here. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, when we get more houses in, we'll get back to this farm. But we just don't have the population to run it. Okay. Um, I really needed this going, though. Uh, this one. And it is. Oh, nothing's ordered. Okay, I'm going to slow back down. I have... Actually, that one. Um, I was thinking I needed that one in because I knew I wanted to put in a uh, uh, four more carts this episode. I thought I was going to be doing it by now, but I've been talking, so I'll get back to work here. <laughs> this guy over here somewhere. Where does he aim? The sunflower... Ah, that can answer some questions. Sunflower oil. Sunflower. I'm not seeing hemp. No hemp, no textile, no clothes. Okay, so that whole industry has nothing to do with the, the granary. Granary is food only. I see, only food. Okay, so it's food storage. So there's talk of maybe diving into the warehouses, the next building for the next update. So maybe warehouses where all the rest of it gets stored. Okay, that's making sense. So we can have an industrial area, or I'll call it an industry, production maybe is a better word, and your warehouse is over there. And then you've got your food production and your granaries with that. Okay, but these guys straddle both because they'll take not only foods, they'll also take clothes and shoes and, and what have you. Um, what did I click on? Fish, milk, potato, flour. Okay. All right. So then the thatch is going to stay there or here. Hmm. But I can still set that to be delivered by laborer and by cart. I want to go into this area. And I'm thinking this door here looks interesting enough to try to duplicate that over here. Maybe so. Let's see if we can get some kind of a parallel in there. Uh, we'll go with the ridge line of the roof. Ooh, that's pretty close. Okay. Now, turn... Wow. Turn into here. Where does he look right? Not like that. Well, accidentally clicked, so um, I guess it's like that. Okay. Let's do that. And we've... Still need to put the weaver and the tailor's workshop in. Should we do all that right here? I mean, it would kind of be fitting. Let's spin you around. Or 
can you go in this direction? Yeah, this takes that a little far. Let's go back to here. Now, what do you look like on your sides? You got no window on that end, and you got no window on that end. So we, you could be sandwiched between some things. Okay. Uh, touch that way, that way. Let's get over the top. That's pretty parallel. Okay. So you could kind of squeeze in and almost match that roof line right there. Close enough to where it look, it'll look like it was intentional. All right, you go there. And then, actually, I think I want to pause these guys until I know I've got some thatch coming. Thatch, we do have a worker. You have 18 reeds. You're probably just showing up to work, aren't you? Okay, you have plenty of reeds, so you can make lots of thatch. Um, we're right here. So we need to put in a tailor next. Tailor. What if we rotated you to face out? Like that. There. Now this one had a porch, so it actually is only about this big. The space I'm not covering. So that matches pretty good right in there. Um, you've got a window on this side. And... You hit right before that flag. What have I got in here? Um, like that. So it'll become up against that little shed right there. Okay. Taylor. <clears throat> I think that can work. Yeah, I think so. Lock you in right there. Okay. Set you on pause. Because I have a feeling... I hate to test it because it took him so long to walk there. But I have a feeling that as soon as I open up all the construction again, then everyone's going to leave their jobs and go work on buildings. I always have such a hard time getting them to work. So it's it's almost like you need a season of, of getting your materials created, and then you need a season of applying the materials to the building sites until we have enough housing and enough people in here. So, yeah, let's keep these projects going, and let's get these thatches in and get these, these houses built. Now, houses, we kind of left this one hanging last time. I was hoping that I could get one more house in and leave a, a path through there. Is that possible? And does he aim outward or inward? Let's spin like so. Uh, the only way I could do it is to do something like that. And that looks really wonky. It looks like the other one's a great big mistake. <laughs> it does. Because you get over here, it snaps. And if I undo it, then I can't grab this edge over here. It requires snapping to do that. So that's about the best that I could do. Looks funny, but it would work. Now, if we rotated you to do this... Hmm. And let the road land over on the other side. What would that look like? It would kick a road around it and then straight in here. So it might force the road coming out of this farm to look better. To do something like that. There is the width of a road over there in between them. You can see where they have been making one. So that would force the road almost a straight line so it almost joined the road that's leaving the town and going out to farm two okay i still i would really like to finish the uh the curve let's see rotate you a little more the arc that i was trying to create there but that makes it impassable so if we were to go back to this like that tuck you in until you almost touch it does leave a road it's not ideal Ideally, we would re you know, tear this house out and redo it, move it over a little bit. But I think that's just going to have to do... If I were to tweak it out this way... Oh, I clicked. 
that mouse is so sensitive demolish then I think it would just look too odd you know back over in there and try to force it to do a zigzag through there so all right let's make the back fence uh, let me zoom in here a little bit back fence straight yeah I think it still leaves an official road okay we'll do that we should have shrunk this one in or actually we should have started from here created a road and then built this direction but I didn't know it was actually gonna look that way when it was all done, at, the, at the very beginning all right now this was last episode too they did start filling this one up I never really established how tall this one was I think it was shorter I think the top was right about that line before so I think they did add something to it which means it's working I was going to delete it and put it back over here we still could if they, we managed to 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 take that down but I don't think we will you know they're not going to eat a lot more in the next two weeks and we're still sitting good on hay because we don't have that many cows so this is or we could just throw all this hay away I mean they can reproduce it faster than we'll ever be able to use it there is that yeah we'll think about that actually I should think about it before they start filling it what I thought about is maybe it would look better to have two of them right over here like so both sides of that window kind of like that all right we'll just make you go away we can refill that easy enough and with that what does this pattern look like that's interesting let's do this let's demolish these guys and lay these out a little bit neater just because we can not you you all right so shift and rotate a little bit of an angle in fact let's match that one over there that's pretty close it looks good so I put you here and down just a touch can I put another one right there oh so close so close okay so let's demolish you let's start oops that was the wrong one let's start um, with this one instead so if you went there you want so badly to get in there now if I were just to spin you the tiniest little bit <laughs> now not gonna do it okay well we're just gonna do something like that and and something like that okay in fact tell you what let's do that let's demolish you two and bring that last one into there okay that's that's a little better okay you're gonna go there for now until I come up with another genius idea otherwise we do have people making house okay that's what that was people making uh, wheat and we still have we don't have thatch anymore because you wanted to go to work on a house right we do have nails coming in we got really low um, we still have this guy coming in um, all right let's let's fire you so we can get the hatch maybe working again now where do we want to put a I'm thinking carts have got to be in this area this one the front door is over here but this front door is over there we could we've got this spot available let's do that carts are transportation cart parking and let's see spin around this way in fact we might even be able to use more than four over here let's see let me get myself straight there we go um Oh, it's hard to, to tell the difference. Because I'm seeing the building at an odd perspective. The shadows are all crooked. Hmm. Can I do it from here better? That looks really close. Just touch the R, and now we're too far the other way. Well, I'm going to have to go with that. Now, we can drop him there. Could we get another one in here? It'd stick out a little bit. 
I guess we'll go to the center. Alright, something like that. Yep, everything's a little crooked here. Okay, so carts, let's request all of you. And let's go ahead and fill this up again. Alright, but in the meantime, I think he moved over to the thatch. And we still need so much of it. I wish I could put a red flag or a priority button and say, this one stays, don't, uh, don't go away. All right, food. A fish and a potato. A fish and a potato. A little bit of milk. Two fish and two potato. And one and a half and one and a half and a little bit of flour. Okay. What's happening in here? Granary. Woman. Which means no cart. But we could do labor by cart as well. Okay. Unless it wants to surprise me and have updated something and, and we now have uh, women driving carts, but I have yet to see it happen other than when that one cart was being delivered. Uh, transferred from one side, from one station to the other. Um, speaking of transferring, we know they use these all the time. We've got there and there. Let's take one of you and drop you into here can i do that i can't i can kill one of these and then take one of you and drop you into there okay and then i can make another one of these to replace it maybe they'll be able to use that cart to grab the the clay and get working back to that matter let's kill another one of these and do that again from here um, there to there, and remake you. Okay. Yeah, that works. So we get two out here, two there, two there, and because they're going to be spending a lot of time working over here soon. Soon, meaning once we get probably these houses done first, so it'll be nice to get that income in. But we could sell a few, a few more of our raw materials to the uh, to here. Now, what do we want to sell? Potato. I know they'll take sunflower. Uh, one of the towns will. I hate to sell off the sunflower, though. Really hate to. In fact, maybe we will open that up. And see if we can get a little bit of that done. I hear little tapping noises. I am hearing tapping noises. What is that? That's this guy. We have sound. Little, little jingles in there, too. Tink, 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 tink. Neat. So we have sound. So even in the forest, the birds just go away in the winter. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Now, are we employed here? We are. And we are two more orders in queue, and we're grabbing supplies. No, we're we built. Ah, uh, good. Good, good, good. Nails, we're making thatch we're making and we're distributing and we're getting close to opening up let's say february yeah we're getting close to opening up uh, fishing as well as just to make sure everything is followed in fact for that matter i can go ahead and let go of the manager too yeah this one's just going to stay followed and i guess that'll be our test we'll see if these go to 100 percent all the way through for the next year by then, hopefully, we'll have a lot more people living here, and we can run two farms. We'll see. Um, but over here, March is coming, and everything looks right. Everything's active. I think we're fine there. Um, realistically, I don't think we'll ever see more than 10. In fact, let's do something like 10. Maybe that'll help not empty all the jobs out. Hmm, we'll see. So was there anything else that had to be done that was brought up? Oh, let's see. There's our weird graphic in the snow there. Yeah, it's the flags. Flags from a certain distance. I think that's what's causing that. Yeah, it's a distance thing. I do have uh, shadows turned down, I think, right now. That might be causing that. So is there anything else I need to be doing before I kick the speed up? 
don't think so. Maybe we'll just kind of park this right here and go up to three until we get to the end of February. You can just kind of watch all the activity, what's going on. Kids are running back and forth from house to house, bringing supplies over there to build the carts. Probably see carts being delivered or transferred back and forth. Ah, here's uh, spring. Another house is done. Should see that family pull in here before long. I hear the tapping. They're building a cart over there. And there's our new family. And let's kind of swing in there real quick. Right there. Now, what's interesting is what happens right after this. So she takes off to do what? She's going to grab some firewood. I didn't see him. I didn't see where he went. She got her firewood. He may have gone to work. Construction. So he took off to go somewhere. Uh, the next house. So he's probably grabbing a cart somewhere. And she's now... What'd she do over here? Uh, slow down. Find home Odarka. And... That was, that was her, yeah. And she's on her way to do what? Oh, she's probably employed over here now. Yep, right there. So she's off to work. Okay, we're sewing over here. That's the wheat. Okay. And again, we're not doing anything over here. We get, the cows moved in, though. Nice. Hello. Is that our new one? That sure looks like a bull to me. Five. We have a newborn and a five-month-old. Okay, so I think that's the newborn right there. That's some crazy coloring. Some red and orange, and I don't think I've ever seen a cow that that coloring before. Okay, so everything's kind of working right. I think so. Don't have the plow, unfortunately. We could hold on. We could do one field over here just to see the plow work. This guy over here. Nutrient level. Can we do anything with that? Well, those nutrients are hurting bad. This is the one that we could have done something with, right? Uh, you... I can't. Oh, if I hire a manager? Can I do something with one? I cannot. I deactivate. I do something with one. Now I can. All right. So what did I say? Uh, go back to fallow. So 85, 100. So wheat will go in there. And potato will go in there. Let's get more potatoes to sell. Let's do that. Active. It's no longer fallow. I'd be curious to see if someone comes running out of here to go grab the cows. Let's go up to two. And move them to a fallow field. Otherwise, <laughs> you are connected to the cow shed. So if that doesn't happen, I could take off the used fallow field and they should move into the cow shed. I'm curious to see what's going to happen here. We have a manager. We should get a call for laborers, right? Okay, I'm trying to watch that and watch this. Um, unless, if since that wasn't available. Oh, workers. That's what it is. Okay. We need a worker that can do the plowing. I, kinda, I just want to kind of see the process. There we go. Two workers are in. One of them should come to work, grab the plow, and start going back and forth. Someone else should go get the cows and move them out. Tell you, let's, let's make that happen. Let's turn this off. Then we should get one of these two. Yeah, here comes the plowing. And we should get the, the cows moved out of here soon. But the... Plowing is going to happen, and then the uh, uh, sewing should come in right in behind. We'll limit this to something like that. Just so we get a chance to see this happen. All right, you are 86%. When this is done, if it still says 86%, then that kind of confirms what I was thinking, that it's not so much fertilizer, it's just that it, it uh, speeds up the growth process. We'll get more growth out of it. We just start a week or two late. 
and yet if we still get more growth than we're used to then we'll know that has something to do with that 86 percent still and i'm still not getting the uh the cattle moved out interesting i guess once it's triggered for the beginning of the year it's it's there so we're gonna have a lot of cattle trampling our uh, our potatoes one more path nope you're calling it down okay oh 100 118 okay so the plowing did give a boost that's nice to see we don't need workers here anymore now so go ahead and send you guys out you can become laborers otherwise we have a laborer who'll be showing up to start sewing still don't have I guess we'll just go ahead and do that again that was a house that was this house yeah so I guess the cattle are just going to live there. Hopefully it doesn't affect them that it's not a fallow field. But the sowing has begun here. One person there. What have we got out here now? One. <laughs> uh, okay, how do we make that happen? It's a long walk. It really is. So it's possible we're going to see kind of a bad year this year too. Unless we purposely send the town out here to get the sowing done. That does sound like a smart plan. It's very disruptive, but it accomplishes things. Let's let's just do it. Uh, we've got plenty of wood. Do that. Thatch. We're hurting on, but we can make this work. I do want this going, though. Forgot about that. Hopefully, or one of these days, we'll get to the point where we don't have to fire them during the winter because we'll have plenty of laborers. But has that helped us yet? Not yet. This one stays. Wheat, I do want to keep that going. So we can stay. Uh, we'll take one out of here. We'll leave you. I haven't checked here lately. We doing fine? We're doing fine, okay. And I'll even take these ladies out. They're really not going to be happy with me, but uh, I want to get all of the sewing in. Any other job sites that I am not thinking of? Yeah, right there. Uh, grab that again and pause. Now, let's get this job done. You're going there and or you're going here. Which is done, right? No, you're just at this point. Okay. Alright. So now we can kick the speed up a bit. And hopefully see this... Uh, swarm of people all come running out here and and they're done but instead they're probably just going to go you know stock their houses and do other things we do have fishermen though that's good to see over here yeah we are sewing like crazy over here yeah we're starting to two <laughs> now we should see them all pop in here soon one uh, four over here but this is now done right no we're at this point here we're going to let it get finished then they should all leave here all right you're done and they're gone there's one still showing up to work to probably catch one little tiny bit no we're done okay over here all those folks moved over here but everybody else where is everybody else I mean, there's so much activity over here for no jobs. They're filling up their houses? Interesting. I just realized what's happening. The laborers are filling up these because there's nothing else for them to do. They're grabbing carts there. And we're filling this up too. Uh-huh. And we're still not getting this done. <laughs> okay. It, shutting it down doesn't stop the laborers from doing their job because they're still triggered to work. Yeah. Boy, we need more people. Okay, we'll do this. Then we'll let it run for another month. And there. There won't be any workers because... They're not there anymore. Family's out of food. Okay. Well, shot myself in the foot, didn't I? Okay, let's put this back together again. I thought we could get a month out of this without uh, 
problems, but apparently I was wrong. You're going to be there. You're going to be there. And we get these things stocked again. Okay. So I guess we're just going to have to go with whatever crops actually do get planted. There. Worker. And by cart. Here. Got somebody in there. By cart. Here. By cart. Okay. So that's all reset. That's all reset. This one will shut down the by cart there and send these two out. Maybe that will help. Okay, let's see what happens now. Whoever was out of food should be able to go and use the uh, the markets again. But I would love to see a bunch of laborers out here. Actually, how much is done? Sewing? Sewing? Oh, we're almost there. This one and this one left. So that one is actually fallow. Oh. Sunflower. And this was the fallow too. So these two are fallow this year. So we're done. Okay. Let's open it back up again. Smithy. Yes. Oh, I never fired you. Carpentry. Yes, there's one cart left. Thatch. Yes. Wheat. Yes. Markets. Yes. Granary. Just one. Because the laborers by cart are doing most of the work. Okay. And then, fish is still, fish is still. Let's open up one building site then, right there. Let's get that going so we can get the uh, uh, A product into the process. You are there. Let's do that, okay. And we're done here. There, yes. All right, this is the first one. Growth is doing well. This one, growth is getting there, but we have plowing involved, too. Okay. So are we at a stopping point for this episode? I think we've got... Let me glance down my notes. Um, I think I have hit everything I wanted to, except for the slaughterhouse tanner and shoemaker. So that'll be next time. Where will they go? I'm thinking with cows here, that's kind of all in this area. So next time we've got to get those three buildings in, and we need to get houses in over here. We've got all of our houses built that we had planned. We've got a population of 49 now. That's helpful. That is helpful. We still have a manager here. We do not have one here. Um, do have one here. No. Okay. Don't need it now. This can continue on its own. Uh, two workers back in there. And... I don't know what else to add to this. I don't know if anybody who buys firewood, nails, fish, thatch, hay, wood. Yeah. So there's no point in doing that. So there's no point in having a worker there until it's time to make a deal. Then we're going to pop a couple workers in there. But to have one in there all the time doing nothing doesn't make sense yet. Um, we have one woman looking for a job. Which I guess could be satisfied right here. And that didn't reset yet. Now there's two. So that's going to fluctuate, huh? And I don't have another option at the moment. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So cow hide industry down in this area houses up in this area and then eventually more houses out in this area with the thought of maybe another cow shed and hay production along with it over here so really we could have the cow industry either in this area or out in this area somewhere between these two points as far as where those buildings lay out um, Town Hall was still going to sneak into here when this went away. We just need to use up the, the five iron. Can we force them to transfer iron? No, this is not a warehouse. This is a granary. Oh, so I'm still gonna, not going to get my Town Hall in there until we use up all the iron. Okay, we'll just keep you employed. 
<laughs> Make lots of nails. Actually, we're almost out of iron. He brought five over the first time. I wonder if he'll bring five over the second time. And once that's done, maybe that's going to happen. Otherwise, um, other notes for next time. Now, I'm saying it out loud, so as I edit it, I'll write it down. Probably wouldn't hurt to get a market out here or here. Hmm. Right in here. Let these guys... In fact, we could do the fence thing right here, too. And force a road through. But a market and a well out in here. And same thing out in this area. And same thing out in this area. Wherever there's going to be clusters of, of homes. We could get into the market over here, too. And even another well for these homes. Make it The, the less running you've got to do in between, the more they can go back to work and get more other things done. You're in. Well, let's pause you right there and deal with that next time because I'm trying to shut this episode down. I know I'm getting long on the time but there's where we'll start next time. And why is that gate only partially opened? I thought maybe it was, it was swinging. No, it's not. So it's been Noble Rambler. I thank you guys for watching. Leave me some comments and I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.